Yes, please. Right. Thank you. Uh, yes, please. Morning guys, how we doing? Uh, at the airport, all checked in. Coffee is uh, is on the go and uh, yeah, a little bit of a queue checking in, but uh, we're here, we made it and uh, yeah, just about to head to the gate and uh, pull the flight. If you have not done ordering your boots, delivery or your toiletries to the airport so you can pick it up after security, definitely recommend doing that. Oh yeah, and check out the airport fit, ultimate 365 tracksuit, full fit. Stan Smith for the journey. Let's get it. So ended up waiting uh, longer to rent the car than getting through passport control, which is the first for me in the US. But uh, we're in a higher car. We've got a little bit of a journey to the hotel now. Not mega excited about driving on, uh, on the wrong side of the road, but uh, Hopefully we'll get there, we'll get there in one pace. We have made it. So, got through the car journey unscathed. It's actually a little easier than I thought. I haven't driven, I don't, if I, yeah, I have driven before in the US, but it's not been for a while, but it was, uh, yeah, it was pretty easy. This is the room. This is home for the next few, uh, the next few days. Interesting, I've got like a full kitchen unit going on here. The fridge, hella noisy. So we might have to ask reception about what we can do about the fridge. Wander through, TV setup, AC, massive, massive bed, and then move our way through. Whoa, this is yellow. Go through, that is the bathroom. Guys, that is, uh, that is where we're staying. So uh, I think I might uh, venture out, grab a little bit of food, and then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get an early night because we've got 36 holes at winged foot tomorrow that I need to be A, up early for, and be on top form for, so uh, I need a whole heap of a lot of sleep. Good morning, guys. Uh, hope everyone is good. Uh, slept okay last night. Jet lag is kind of kicking my ass. I was up at like four, five, got bitten by a mozzie a couple of times. Not the ideal start, not the ideal first night, but we're here. Today is a big day of the trip. Dealt a little bit of a blow last night uh, in that we're not gonna be able to do as much uh, with the camera at Winged Foot as we first thought, which um, is uh, a little bit tricky, but we're gonna try and work around it. I'm gonna take the iPhone, I'm gonna see if I can get as much as I can possibly get without upsetting anyone. Certainly don't wanna be upsetting anyone. So um, so yeah, right, let me, uh, let me, before I get in the shower, get ready to head out, because, uh, I think it's what the time now. I think the time now is around uh, so around half six, quarter to seven. We're on the tee at eight fifty, but you know I've got to get there a little bit early. Cause I've got to hit some balls because it's been a while. And thirty six holes around Wingfoot. Definitely gonna need a warm up for. But uh, before we get in the shower, let's show you the outfit for today. Okay, of course, go to polo shirt. So go to polo shirt. This is in the light blue color. This is super soft. This is super soft. This is super stretchy as well. This is going to be mega comfy. Now, weather forecast today is going to be like, I think it's going to be like 26, 27 degrees. It's going to be hot, but I am going to go trousers. So these are light sand, light beige. These are the go-to five pocket trousers. Now, you know that I'm not normally a huge fan of five pocket trousers, but having tried these on, they are super stretchy, they are super lightweight, and you know, 36 holes in the sun, I'm just thinking a little bit more uh, protection around the legs. These are definitely lightweight enough that, uh, that we're gonna be able to do that. So we're gonna go with these, go with that shirt, and then I think we're gonna go navy belt, I might go brown belt, and then for the trip, of course, we've got the Adidas Tour 360s. Guys, we have made it. You can see by the weather, just got 36 holes today. That's just going to be absolutely out of this world. Just honestly, I'm so excited for this. Uh, just pulled up some of the houses on the uh, on the route up. Just absolutely insane. And it's only like 10 minutes from uh, from my hotel, so uh, I'll try and capture as much of it as I can for you guys. And I will. Uh, I'll see you very soon. Guys, 
guys we are uh, nine holes in and this has been just like walking in a dream really this is uh absolutely crazy i can't get too much on uh, on camera i'll uh, see if i can add some bits in but uh, this has just been absolutely insane so far this is oh yeah that's, and that's only nine holes this could be top 10 top five top one day of golf ever Pro. This is the 11th. Just look at this. Look at this. Green sight in there. I'm in the rough. Officially hit no fairways so far today. So I don't know what the fairways are like. I'd assume they're lovely. So we've got the go to shirt on body. This thing's absolutely been lovely today. It's been so, so nice. It's nice and soft, nice and airy. And then down to the trousers. Trousers are really nice. It isn't trouser weather, it's really, really hot but the trousers are fine. They're, uh, they're nice and light, lightweight, nice and stretchy, very comfy. So uh, yeah, no complaints about that. I think the outfit suits the venue. It's a pretty classy outfit for a very, very classy venue. going guys quick update lunch was absolutely spectacular had this absolutely bomb nashville chicken and buttery burger things absolutely insane we're about seven or eight holes into the uh, into the back nine uh, into the front line on the east very very interesting golf course very very cool the greens are insane again yeah just uh what a day and as you can see still no clouds so uh, absolutely incredible Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Guys, this place is just so, so special. This is just stunning. Guys, golden hour is incoming. I don't think life gets much better than this. All right, guys, we are back at the hotel, and that today was an all timer. Just one of the best days that I have ever had on a golf course, I think. Like, winged foot means, um, I, I'd say winged foot means uh, a lot to me. It, um, as a venue, like the 2006 uh, US Open was like one of the first US Opens that I really sort of remember and remember watching and remember seeing how tough it was like I think plus five one Jeff Ogilvy and it just like it really sort of gripped me and so yeah to um to have managed to to play there today play 36 holes play both courses I mean the green complexes on uh, on the golf courses were absolutely insane some of the, the the coolest, funnest greens that I've ever had the the opportunity to play. Um, outfit held up great. This shirt, absolutely love this shirt. It's so soft. You can see just how stretchy the shirt is. Just absolutely awesome. Just really, really love uh, wearing this. And also, by the way, button down, button down collars, which I also am a big fan of. Makes for a a really nice look. A very smart look around uh, around the top of the collar. So outfit held up great. Um, yeah, just an absolute killer day. I uh, got my bow buns takeout, and I'm gonna sit and chill, have a shower, and uh, yeah, tomorrow gonna go into Manhattan in the morning first thing. So uh, very excited about that. I've got one thing that I want to look for tomorrow. There's a lot of resale shops. There's a lot of that sort of stuff going on in uh, in Manhattan. I want to see if anywhere has the Kith Adidas Tour 360s. If they do, we might be pulling the trigger. Depends a little bit on the pricing, but uh, but yeah, we might be pulling the trigger. Guys, I'm going to uh, tuck in to my dinner and uh, I'll probably see you at some point tomorrow. Good morning, guys. 
guys, hope everyone's good. Uh, sorry I haven't checked in earlier. Been a uh, bit of a, uh, a mad morning. Um, just got a train into NYC. Just gonna go for a, uh, a bit of breakfast at, uh, it's called the, I think it's the Smith. Um, seen a few reviews on it, so uh, hopefully gonna go check that out for a bit of brunch. And uh, yeah, the, uh, the full Adidas go-to fit is in action. I'm gonna show you uh, more of that in a, uh, a little bit. So. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's go and grab some uh, some breakfast. Big day ahead in NYC. It's my favourite city on earth, so uh, yeah, it should be uh, should be a cool one. I'm, uh, I'm very very excited, despite the fact that I might not sound it because 36 holes yesterday. I'm a little tired. was an absolutely mega, mega breakfast. Um, couldn't quite finish it, but, uh, but yeah, that was uh, pretty epic. Now, uh, well, the main reason why, uh, why I came into the city is uh, a lot of retail shops, as I said yesterday, want to have a, uh, a little hunt for the Adidas Tour 360, the Kith version. So uh, let's, uh, let's go shopping. First shop uh, was Fly Club there, um, and you saw uh, only one pair of the gold shoes. They, uh, the Kith Sambas. I think my size are about 380 bucks, which uh, I'm not paying for. They did not have the uh, the Tour 360s in stock, but, uh, but yeah, um, let's uh, let's keep going. Let's uh, let's check out the next store. Nothing in Kith. Uh, no Adidas Taylor May, no other Taylor May, um, nothing at all really. Um, close to uh, pulling the trigger on a Kith crew neck because uh, they do the basics sometimes better than uh, anyone else. But uh, but yeah, unfortunately uh, nothing. So we keep moving, we keep hustling. All right, guys, we have uh, we've made it to the Melbourne store. We're gonna uh, go and check out the store and see if they've got any Adidas bits in. Wonder if they're uh, going to have those uh, those new sambas. Uh, let's, uh, let's go and let's go and check it out. See what we can see. Nothing uh, really in the Melbourne store. Um, yeah, just a uh, bit of a shame. Um, but uh, just had a, they did have a pair of the Stan Smiths, but not a huge uh, fan, and they look like a really small size. So uh, we keep we keep mucking on. We keep pressing on. I think we're going to try Stadium Goods next. Not hopeful. Stadium of Goods was bust. Unfortunately, absolutely nothing in there whatsoever. So uh, hopefully, I'm, uh, I might run into a few places. I'm going to find uh, somewhere to uh, to go and grab a uh, a little bite to eat, a little bit of a drink, and then I'm going to be heading back to the hotel, getting out of the city. So uh, be getting the train. I will uh, I'll check back in with you if I uh, come across somewhere that might look like it has uh, has some uh, some good bits in especially the Tour 360s, that's what we were after today, but I feel like I'm probably gonna end up coming up short, so uh, so yeah. Right guys, we're back at the hotel. After I saw you last, just a long walk up to uh, up to Grand Central Station. Stopped in at uh, at Rossini's for a, uh, for a little bit of Italian food, which was very, very nice. Um, it was pretty empty in there, and uh, I didn't really wanna get the phone out and start filming everything. Uh, just had a plate of carbonara, and we're good to go. I realized on the vlog that I haven't really spoken about the outfit. It's been all over my Instagram account. But here's the fit for today. This is the long sleeved polo shirt from the Go To collection. Nice little ribbed cuffs. You can sort of see the, uh, the detail there on the sleeve, which is very, very nice, round about there. So that's that. And then these are the trousers. I realize I'm a little far away now. These are the trousers. These are the progressive, the progressive pants. And then uh, just had on the uh, the Stan Smiths. So, uh, so yeah, guys, that is the day. Tomorrow, we're playing at Pound Ridge tomorrow, we're teeing off at around 12 o'clock. Pete Dye design, it's in the top public courses in, uh, in New York. I think it's like fifth or sixth or something like that. So um, I've heard a lot of good things. That's gonna be fun. And then Beth Page, we're gonna to attempt to do Beth Page on Tuesday. So yeah, mega few uh, few days coming up. Uh, looking forward to it. 
I'm going to rest up now, chill out, and uh, guys, I will see you in the morning. Good morning. Struggling to get on NYC time. Um, jet lag is... Uh, I wouldn't say I'm just jet lag. I'm just like still in that cycle of just getting up a little bit too early. But um, that's going to benefit us tomorrow because tomorrow is like a four four o'clock alarm, maybe even earlier. So uh, trying to guarantee that tea time at Beth Page. But that's tomorrow. Today we are at Pound Ridge. I'm going to go and uh, just grab a uh, a little bit of breakfast now from upstairs. Complimentary breakfast. It's very very nice. Went up there yesterday. Grab a coffee and uh, maybe banana or something, and then uh, we're gonna hit the road. Outfit wise, today we have these are the shorts. Um, these are the go-to shorts. I really like these shorts. These are very very nice. They call them five pocket, but they're not like a traditional five pocket design. You've got the slot that goes in the side here, which is very very cool, rather than the the top pockets and just the details you've got a lovely little uh, adidas logo just on the pocket there which is very very nice and then this is again one of the go-to shirts just a different colorway this color is just absolutely awesome i love this color and it goes so great with the uh, with a lighter uh, light beige shorts so big big fan of that and then guys we're gonna go code chaos today they don't go hugely with the fit but i just really want to wear them mega mega comfortable and um, i haven't worn them that much for how much I like them. So uh, we're gonna rock these today. So uh, guys, I will, uh, I'll see you very shortly. Right, made it to Pound Ridge. Couple of guys on the range. It's really not that many cars in the car park. I've got a tea time on my own uh, at uh, 12, 05 so time now is 10 past 11 so i'm a little bit early so go and check in see what the sketch is and uh yeah i'll uh, i'll see you guys shortly just found out that i'm playing in a three ball so i've got two guys with me so uh, i'm not going to be uh, able to take the big camera out on the golf course uh, i think that's just going to be uh a bit much to uh, to take out with two guys that I've never met before. So uh, we're not going to do that. So I'm going to leave that in the car and then uh, try and get as much as I can of the golf course. Um, just from having a little look up by the clubhouse, it looks pretty insane. So uh, so yeah, should be uh, should be good. I'm looking forward to it. All right, guys. So I, uh, I said to you earlier that we were paired up with uh, with a couple of guys. Uh, we've not. We've been paired up with a lovely lady called Joy. And uh, this is Joy's tenth time on the golf course, and she's very, very kindly offered to uh, do a bit of filming of me to uh, today, which uh, I'm very, very grateful for. So, uh, first walking down the first hole, this place is is very, very cool. Just trying to get a grip for where we're going, but uh, yeah, so far it's very, very cool. Let me switch the camera around and I'll uh, show you what I mean. So yeah, we're just wandering down here the first. Don't even know where the green is. I'm assuming it's somewhere over there. I think I'm in one of these bunkers. checking back in. We had Joy with us for uh, for nine holes. Um, she's very sweet, very, very nice lady. She uh, offered to do a little bit of filming for me. So uh, we managed to get a, uh, a few swings on video, which is, uh, which is cool. On the 14th, this place is proper peat dye. It's very, uh, it's very TPC like, it's challenging off the tee. There is room, but doesn't look like it is. A few blind shots. It's, uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. It's quite hilly, so. Pretty tough walk. I should have took the uh, the cart really you now, I think, but uh, or buggy, shall I say? But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool though. It's a uh, very cool walk and uh, outfits holding up nicely. Absolutely loving it. The shorts, absolutely bang on. They are uh, they're such a nice pair of shorts. Nice and lightweight. Nice and easy to uh, to wear. So so yeah, positives. A few holes to go. Got absolutely no phone battery, so no idea if we're going to find our way back to the hotel later.
one more uh, one more hole to go. Uh, this has been a uh, been a very very uh, special game of golf. Very very cool. Just yeah, gonna have to uh, find a few more of Pete Dye's golf courses. It's just so so intimidating off the tee, but uh, yeah, it's been uh, been very very cool. Right guys, as you uh, as you just saw, uh, just finished up and um, yeah, absolutely insane. I definitely would recommend coming and uh, and checking out this place. Absolutely, um, just yeah, very very cool place to play golf. Now my phone has just run out of battery, uh, trying to capture uh, all that content, and so uh, I'm hoping in the uh, in the clubhouse they're going to have uh, a charger. Otherwise me and you are we're going to try and find our way back to new rochelle from here unassisted that could be hectic so uh so yeah fingers crossed i um fingers crossed they've got a charger for me because otherwise we are uh, we're a little screwed we just got very very lucky um uh, went into the uh to the clubhouse standard lightning cable uh chargers Unfortunately, mine needs the USB-C charger. I was just about to to leave and try and make a uh, make my way home um, or back to the hotel. I know how to get to like the main road, but I don't know once I come off the main road at the other end just how to get back to the hotel. So that would have been I just don't know what I would have done. I mean, well, I'd have had to have attempted it, but. Yeah, I don't know how, uh, how how well that would have come off, but um, thankfully the lad at the bag drop had a MacBook charger, which it fits, and we've got some juice to get back to the hotel. So uh, yeah, man, what what a guy, just um, absolute lifesaver. So we thought it was going to be AJ Burgers, turned out to be Texas Roadhouse. So. Uh, all of the salad, excuse the uh, NFL on the background. Look at the size of this salad. Man, I love coming to the US when it comes to, uh, to portion size of this sort of stuff. But uh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be mega. Just checking in, uh, dinner was absolutely banging. We got a big day tomorrow. I've kind of, with this trip, like winged foot was like, the the big one for me like that's the one personally that you know I, I i was most excited for um and the chance to play with uh with someone who uh, i've wanted to play golf with for a long time uh it was it was very very cool and so yeah to get to do that was like a big focus of the trip i've kind of got to get myself geared up a little bit tomorrow i could be playing beth page black tomorrow well we're hoping we're aiming to play beth page black which is where the Ryder Cup is next year. So, yeah, I'm uh, I'm I'm pretty excited. We're going to be leaving very very early in the morning. We're going to be leaving very very early. It's um it's about a 40 minute drive uh, from where I'm staying um out to Farmingdale, New York. So, because it's about a 40 minute drive, the the lineup queue. Um, to get a tea time is opened at half past five and they encourage you to get there as early as possible now i'm not going to be getting there earlier than, than five i don't think because i just i just can't do it so we're going to be getting there at five o'clock hopefully around about then and um and we're gonna say a, uh, a prayer and see if we can uh, we can get a tea time so that's the hope that's what we're hoping for tomorrow and so uh so yeah just have a good dinner about to jump in the shower and uh, and sort of get get cleaned up and then get ready for bed and yeah guys I will uh, I will see you really really early in the morning. in the car park i think i've just pulled into space 99 or 100 
Um, doesn't look like there's that many cars, but uh, I'm just going to hop out and uh, find out what the uh, what the sketch is and uh, and go from there. Hopefully, I'm in the right place. Okay, so I got out and the guys told me I was parked in the wrong spot. So I'm uh, quite a bit further away now from uh, from everything. Um, but uh, but yeah, I think now we uh, now we just wait. So uh, the uh, they start coming around about half past five. Time now is is. Fire is 4:56, so uh, I've got 35 minutes to uh, to wait before they start uh, coming around and giving wristbands. It's not too busy, so hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll be fine and uh, we'll be uh, we'll be all sweet and we'll we'll get some sort of space on the golf course today. Morning, just a one, please. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, got one. Now we sort of go somewhere and park. So uh, let's get going. Okay, I think we're here. Just, uh, just following the masses at this point. So everyone seems to be walking in this direction. So. We are, uh, we're 9.45, so uh, we're getting there, we're getting close. How's it going? A uh, single for the black, possible? Yeah? Perfect. I never. I do not. Yep. Okay. Okay. Guys, we did it. We got tea time midday oh it was touch and go for a second there um i thought we would be fine i think because i'm obviously a single uh i think it's probably a, a little bit easier for me to get out but first tea time as a single that i could get was midday so um yeah that's crazy no no morning times whatsoever so uh the time now is 607 a.m so we are we've got some time to kill so uh, I think, uh, I don't know where, really where to go, what to do, I don't know whether to sleep in the car for a little bit. I've definitely been asleep, um, which, uh, I mean, I think I've been sleeping with my mouth open, and so anyone wandering past has got some right good pictures of me, which is not ideal, but uh, it's light outside now, which is good. So I think we're going to go and take the camera out and uh, go and have a... Uh, a little wander around. Um, I definitely need to get some breakfast, and so yeah, let's go and see what we can see. Right, guys, we are uh, just walking up to that world famous sign. This is uh, it's a bit of a pinch me moment. This there it is. That's the golf course that we're playing today. Down the first hole. So, so cool, it looks mega as well from uh, up here. Coffee with a view. Oh! Guys, just uh, killing a bit of time and headed down to uh, to the 18th, uh, 18th green just to, uh, to check it out and uh, they look incredible. Greens just look absolutely insane. It's just the excitement is building. Food was good, breakfast was good. There's one thing I've had a lot of expensive meals this trip. Um, obviously, when you're from the UK, uh, we don't really do 20% tipping. Um, so, and then most of the time, we kind of just don't tip for lots of things, not because we don't want to, just because it's just not the done thing. Um, uh, it's nice to get a reasonably priced meal with uh, with a really nice portion size. So uh, your boy is very full. Uh, I'm gonna go uh, back to the car now, get the clubs, uh, put shoes on, and then uh, yeah, we're gonna have a uh, a little look uh, for the range. Oh, it looks like somebody's got a YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be correct. Uh, just 
threaded some uh, some golf balls on the uh, on the range, and there's a uh, this college tournament going on today. So they are uh, teeing off behind me over there. I'm gonna come up grab a coffee and sit down and watch a few swings. These guys look uh, pretty good. Just checking back in. Um, just been watching uh, the college guys tee off. There's absolute ballers playing in, uh, in this field. Um, we made, uh, well, we didn't make the same mistake as we made yesterday, and uh, we brought a phone charger with us this time. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to uh, get a phone charger from the car, which is where I'm going now, and then we're going uh, going to charge the phone a little bit. So we've got plenty of juice to try and get as much as we can out on the golf course. We've got about an hour and a half until we uh, until we tee off, so uh, still a, a little bit of time left. But this place is, uh, it's again, kind of very much like Wingfoot. Very surreal being here in uh, in person. But um, yeah, counting down the time until we uh, until we tee off. So we've got the clubs. We are all ready to go. Just uh, wander into the uh, to the first tee now. I've got about half an hour. Gonna hit some putts. And I'm gonna see you guys out there. Cannot wait. We're striding down the first after a horrific snap hook off the tee in front of loads of people watching. So, uh, yeah, we're on the golf course, though. Just what a day, what a day so far. This is very, very cool. with a, a super nice and uh yeah it's just a just a really great experience the outfit is holding up really nicely as well i just absolutely love this shirt this combo these these go-to shorts i think I've, this is a newfound love for these uh these go-to shorts they really are they they fit great they're great to play in yeah, they're just really really nice we're uh we're walking down i think it's the seventh um par five could be eight um, got to get up and down for birdie. We've made two birdies in the last three. Um, before that, it was an absolute, you know what show? It's uh, we're getting there. We were three hours for nine holes, which I don't think I've done three hours for nine holes for a very, very, very long time. These, man, these college boys are taking things seriously. Still, I just you guys just heard me constantly say, this is amazing, what a day, so on and so forth. But honestly, just, it's a very surreal experience to, to come and play these golf courses, having watched them on TV for years and years and years. So I posted on uh, Instagram about it taking us three hours for the front nine and my DMs went a bit mental. Um, pace of play has picked up. Pace of play has picked up, can confirm. But I'm not actually sure uh, the time at the moment. I can imagine we're still gonna be two and a half. If we get done in five and a half, I'd imagine that's, I think that's probably gonna be fairly accurate. Five and a half hours, Joe you know what? The day's been absolutely awesome. The company's been great, the weather's good. Of all the places to spend five and a half hours, I've got nowhere to be. So, you know, really, I don't mind. I don't mind so much. On a score update basis, I'm not sure quite what I was for the front nine. I think I was, I started bogey bogey double, which was not great. Then went birdie par birdie. And then I think I made bogey on nine. So what does that make me? That's four, five, three, plus three for the front. And I'm one under for the back currently. Uh, no 
no bogeys so far on the back nine, wandering down 16. So uh, I'm I'm playing pretty good. I'm not hitting it great, but we're scoring, and uh, and that's what uh, that's what that's what counts. You know, just uh, two and a half holes left of of just an incredible day. Right, guys, let's do the uh, the walk up the last. Oh wow! Right, guys, little score update: bogeyed 17 in the bunker, and uh, yeah, came out to about 10, 12 feet, and uh, I missed it. Uh, to be fair, I hit it like five feet past and made the one uh, one coming back. We're currently walking up the last hole. Let's just look at that. Walking up the last hole. Yeah. Oh, I'm not going to say it again. You kind of, you know, I think you've heard it a fair few times today, but this is just very cool. Huge, huge thank you to uh, the guys at Adidas Golf for, for helping make this uh, make this trip possible. Um, you know, very humbled and, uh, and and very appreciative of the support and the support from all of you guys. Anyone watching this really does uh, mean a lot. Would love to get the chance to do more of this stuff uh, again. But uh, we got a birdie, the last hole to shoot under par on the back nine at Beth Page Black. Let's do it. Good roll. So, as you just saw, did not make the birdie part on the last, ended up shooting uh, level par on the back nine. I think I was three over on the front nine. Um, played off the white tees, I mixed it up and I went off the uh, off the backs a couple times, but not nothing too crazy. Today wasn't really about shooting a score, it was more about enjoying uh, the game of golf. Uh, the guys who I played with, Rick, Brian, Ed, um, just awesome. Like That's exactly, when you do solo travelling, that's kind of what I was hoping to to get today to be paired up with three just absolute top guys. I mean, Rick was sort of my uh, my cameraman for most of the uh, the afternoon, so that was also really really nice to uh, to have and just yeah, super nice guys. Um, what a day! What a day! Um, we have got an hour drive back to uh, the hotel now, and then tonight is just going to be a bit chilling out. A bit of editing to do, um, got to eat and got to do some packing. So actually got quite a bit to do. Uh, total time for the round, by the way, uh, I should have said. Five hours 40. Five hours 40. Absolutely incredible. Um, not acceptable in any way, shape or form. Uh, the the leading score for the college lads in front, someone shoot, shot five under after back tees. That's really impressive out there. Really impressive. Um so yeah, here let's hit the road. Let's get back to uh, back to the hotel. We got a lot to do. Morning, guys. Sorry, I uh, I didn't check in last night. Um, just got back to the hotel and just went and grabbed some food. Nothing crazy. And then uh, and then yeah, chilled out, went to bed. Um, yeah, it was a pretty long day yesterday. After that mega early start to to yeah, spend all day out on the golf course. Just came back to uh, to the hotel, chilled out. But today. Today's our last day on the trip, last day. I um, can't believe it's uh, it's come to an end already, but we're playing at the Summit Club up in Armonk, which is about 25 minutes north of the hotel that I'm staying in, in, uh, in New Rochelle. So, um, so yeah, firstly, we're gonna go and grab some breakfast from the hotel and then uh, get stuff in the car, check out, and then head up to, to there. We've got an 11 p.m. flight out of JFK tonight. So the idea is get up early today, go and get some breakfast, play 18 holes, make ourselves really tired, and then and then try and sleep on the plane tonight ahead of landing into Heathrow tomorrow at 11.20. So another long day, but, uh, but it is what it is. It's all fun. So I am gonna uh, wrap my stuff up here, try and get as a few things down to the car, and then we'll head to breakfast.
Okay, guys, we've arrived. Very easy journey. Um, the guys did say that uh, it was going to be quiet. It's crazy quiet. There are like three cars in the car park. Maybe not even that. You can kind of see if I show you around here. There is just nobody here. So apparently all the kids are back at school. And so therefore that is why it's so quiet. So I'm going to have the golf course to myself today. It's a car only kind of place. So that's going to be very good because my legs are very, very tired. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to, uh, to checking out the place, checking out the venue. Hey mate, are you shy of the camera? Mm. Oh, you're making the vlog. Okay guys, so we've uh, just hit some balls. Uh, we've been talking to, uh, to Mike, the director of golf in the shop. Um, fascinating learning a little bit more about this place and, and sort of what the plans are. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's very very cool hospitality so far, as you would expect. The guys have been uh, been awesome. So uh, yeah, by sounds of things, I've got the golf course to myself, uh, and yeah, man, we're gonna uh, we're gonna go back up to the club. You've seen uh, Finn, the um, little Westie, absolute legend. He's uh, he's running the place. Um, such a cute dog. But uh, yeah, I look forward to, uh, to getting back to my dog at home. Can't wait to see him. But uh, but first, we got some golf to play, and uh, and yeah, then we're gonna. Uh, catch a flight so uh i'll uh, i'll see you guys out on the golf course guys look at this for a view oh absolutely awesome Now would be a, uh, a really cool time just to uh, to touch on the go-to collection in general. So obviously the go-to collection, I've been wearing it for this entire trip. I, I, I brought nothing that's, that's not really go-to apart from uh, a couple of Ultimate 365 pieces, um, only just because the weather was gonna be so hot. So uh, do you know what? What I love about the go-to collection and just been thinking about this is if you're going on a trip like this, and you don't want to pack loads you don't want to bring loads you don't want to have to bring evening outfits like stuff for breakfast like you want to play golf if you bring the if you get into the go-to collection and you get a few pieces from the go-to collection you end up wearing those pieces now obviously that's the point of the go-to collection is you wear it outside of when you're playing golf but i really do think that especially for trips when you're like when you're coming away and you don't want to pack loads go-to collection is absolutely perfect it's just it's ideal you just don't need to bring any of the extra stuff you just pack some bits from the go-to collection and you've got versatility and i know obviously that's what the whole range is but thinking about it that's what i've loved most about the go-to collection wearing it this trip is just that it is that versatile and you can look that good off the golf course as well as looking good on it and if we can do that everyone's a winner so i think that's for me like i've loved all the pieces one of my favorite pieces i think was the uh, the long sleeve polo that i wore in new york city i think that was one of my favorite pieces that i've worn so far and the shorts as well I've absolutely loved the shorts so yeah i just that's my sort of one major takeaway with oh, the go-to oh. collection This place is, is very, very cool. Very, very different to uh, to what I've been playing. Um, Pound Ridge was just crazy different. Obviously, Winged Foot, Beth Page, both US Open courses, both big boy ballparks, like both big courses. This is a, uh, a little, little smaller land, um, but I've definitely not played anything with this this changing in elevation, side slopes, that sort of stuff. It's uh, It's been a lot of fun to, to play so far. And uh, yeah, looking forward to, to seeing what the uh, what the rest of the course brings. Guys, when you're this out on the golf course, then the pizza <laughs> arrives <laughs> with Finn. Finn's here. Oh, oh. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, 
17 downhill. I think it probably looks like it's playing about 140 odd. Oh, just such a great view all round. Oh, this is just beautiful. Right, last hole of the trip. So that is the last hole of the trip in the books. Um, yeah, what a trip it's been, guys. I just, you know, I've done so many amazing things on this trip. I've gotten to play golf courses that I could only ever have dreamt of playing, and I've managed to make that a reality. The um, trip's been difficult at times. You know, a lot of time on your own. I'm not really used to solo traveling outside of uh, of the UK. So, you know, that's been a, a little bit difficult as well. But yeah, I'm, I'm proud of myself for this trip. And I'm just, I'm so blessed to have, have been able to, to make it all happen. Uh, a huge thank you to Adidas Golf again for uh, for helping make this trip possible. Uh, I couldn't have done it without you guys and uh, and your continued support of me and the channel. So uh, I really do appreciate that. The go-to collection, guys, I will leave links down in the description down below for everything that you've seen in this video. So uh, if you did like anything, do go ahead and, uh, and check it out. So uh, yeah, thank you uh, once again to all of you guys for watching, supporting, follow al following along on Instagram as well. I do really, really appreciate all of the continued support. I really, really do. Um, you know, getting a chance to, to do a trip like this is is incredible and yeah if it wasn't for you guys um i wouldn't be able to do that so so thank you um do everything you need to do down below like comment subscribe all that good stuff uh, and if you want to see some more uh content like this on the channel do please let me know i'd really appreciate it so uh i could try and uh, make a few more of these trips happen because i've kind of got the bug for it a little bit now so uh guys you may see me between now, JFK and home. You may not, um, but, uh, but yeah, just know that I really appreciate your support. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all very, very soon.